In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a schooner in Minecraft. Now, if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, if you want more videos like this one, I've got tons of ship tutorials on the channel, and I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a full playlist that you guys can check out. Anyway, let's get into building. All right then, guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. Here is the ship out of water. Now, guys, uh, this one is 15 blocks long. It is six blocks wide because of the sail sticking out just a little bit. Uh, otherwise, the actual hull itself is five blocks wide. And it's also 19 blocks high. If you guys are going to be building this one out of the water, which I expect you will do, this is where your water level is going to be. So you have a block right next to it. Go down. This right here is your uh, main kind of first layer level. <laughs> So it's as simple as that. Materials to get you guys started are going to be spruce slab, stair and a plank block and also a jungle fence. Okay, uh, we'll need some other woods as well. As we go, as you can see here, I've gone with the spruce, then oak, then jungle. But you could, of course, mix and match it all up with whatever you would like. All right, so for layer number one, what we're going to do with a spruce plank block, if you are, again, building this little square, you could do 15 by 6. What you're going to be is you're going to be one, two, three blocks over, and that's where your first plank is going to be. Place another plank on top of that one, and then place a spruce stair on top of that. And then you're going to have two jungle fences off of that so we can get rid of the jungle fence. Simple as that. Behind the jungle fence now, we're going to have two spruce plank blocks. On the side of the last one, we're going to have a spruce slab on the upper piece like that. Then we're going to have five blocks going forwards. One, two, three, four, five. Do the same on the other side. Have your slab on the side of that one. Then five blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five. Fill in the middle as well because you can. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Then with our slabs, the last four are going to be slabs. So you go one, two, three, and four. Leaving that first one there. One, two, three, and four, like that there. Then what we're going to do is on the front of this block right here, we're going to have two slabs coming forwards, one and two. Do the same on the other side, one and two. Have two spruce plank blocks right in the middle, one and two. And then grab yourself a spruce stair and have that upside down right on the front of that block. That is it for layer number one. And for layer number two, have a spruce plank block and place that directly on top of the last layer where you're, you've got the upside down spruce stair. Either side of that block, you're going to have an upside down spruce stair as well. Behind that, you're going to have two blocks, one and two. Then on the side of that one, the last block, you're going to have an upside down spruce stair. You're now going to have five spruce plank blocks behind this. So one, two, three, four and five, like that. Then an upside down spruce stair right here. Where you've got this spruce slab, you're going to have a spruce plank block directly on top. Then you're going to bring one block over and one block right behind and connecting into the fence. Then we'll do the same on the other side. So we get two blocks behind the upside down stair that you placed here, one and two. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have an upside down spruce stair on the side of that one. Five blocks behind, one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna get upside, an upside down spruce stair, block where you've got this slab right there, and then you're gonna have a block coming back like that. Also guys, grab yourself a stripped spruce wood, and you're going to have one right in the front here. And in the back, you're going to have one just there, so just miss a block at the back like that. These are going to be where your masts are going to be coming out of the ship when we get to that part. But that's it for layer number two. And now for layer number three, what you're going to do is right at the front here, you're going to have a spruce stair coming forwards from the last sets of blocks. Directly on top of this spruce stair, you're going to have a spruce plank block. And you can have another one behind that. On the side of this block here, you can have a spruce stair upside down. Then grab yourself some oak planks and you're going to have six of these behind. One, two, three, four, five, and six like that. Then you're going to have a spruce plank. Switch over to your spruce stairs and have an upside down spruce stair right here. Then you're going to have a spruce plank block in behind this one and directly on top of the last layer like that. Then you're going to have another upside down spruce stair. Then a spruce plank right there like that. Then onto the other side. Right here we've got your upside down spruce stair. Have a block on top of that one with your spruce. Have another one going back. Upside down spruce stair on the side like that. 
then six oak planks behind. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you can have a spruce plank block on the back of this one. Upside down spruce stairs. Then where you've got this little block on the inside here, have a spruce plank block. And then finally a spruce stair upside down like that. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, build up the masts. So build them up by one like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some oak slabs. And what we're going to do right here is leave this one here, go to the next ones, and we're going to have three slabs on the side, just on the side, all right? One, two, and three. And this will then create this little opening down here. So you can see the lowest point is here. That's where we're at in the minute, all right? But anyway, guys, that's it for layer number three. And now for layer number four, with your oak plank first, place a block directly on top of the last layer where you've got the upside down spruce stair. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have three blocks and it's going to go all the way across this section here. So quite a chunky bit behind the mast. We're going to have another oak plank block directly on top of the spruce stair that we've got here. Then grab yourself a jungle slab, stair and also plank block. You're going to have a jungle plank block behind that block. Then we're going to have a jungle stair. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two slabs of your jungle, one and two. Then we're going to go the other way around this time so we get a jungle stair here then a jungle plank block. Now switch back to your oak planks and we're gonna have two blocks behind this, one and two. Then right here, we're gonna have a oak plank block like that. And upside down, we're gonna have three oak stairs going across. So one, two, and three, upside down across the back like that. So let's do the other side now. So we get an oak plank block directly on top of the spruce stair, a jungle plank block, a jungle stair, two jungle slabs, one and two. Turn around now so you're facing the back. Have another jungle stair, then a jungle plank. Then we're gonna have two oak planks here, one and two. Then on the inside here, we're just gonna have one oak plank like that. Now what we're gonna do is where we've got the masts, we're gonna put a composter on top, like that there. Um, on the front one, this is where I had my access to the hole. You could of course have it here if you wanted to instead. There's no reason why not. Uh, it just depends on what you guys really want to have, you know. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do the same on my one, of course. So we're going to have two uh, ladders going up on that one. Then a spruce trap door on the front here so you can get in and close the whole thing up and all that stuff. Then what we can do is we can grab ourselves an oak slab. And we're going to have just two oak slabs either side of that like that. Well, we've got this three block opening. Um, actually, in fact, it's going to be all, all the way to four blocks. So tell you what, we'll do the slabs first, should we? It'll make it easier, probably. Um, we're going to have like some slabs here on the lower piece, either side of the last mast. So those two there. Leave this one in the middle. That one stays. Uh, what we're going to do around the back of the composter is we're going to have a lower slab as well, just there. Then we're going to have upper slabs going around this piece here, including at the back. Don't know why we even bother with that one, but we do, uh, apparently. Then what we're going to do with our oak trapdoors is we're going to have up oak trapdoors, but they're going to be on the upper kind of part like this. So I like to do them where I can actually open them all up like this, so I can get into the hold in one go. Uh, totally up to you guys if you want to do that or you're not really that bothered. But the idea is it's some sort of like roping and, and netting and things like that can be easily removed um, like that. But guys, that's it for layer number four. And now for layer number five, what we're going to do is with our jungle stair, we're going to have a normal jungle stair directly on top of the last layer right here at the front. Then on the front of that one, we're going to have an upside down jungle stair. On the side of that normal jungle stair that we placed first, we're going to have an upside down jungle stair on the sides of those bits like that. Behind each of those, you're going to have a jungle plank block, one and one there. Then where we've got the little gap here, we're going to have a jungle slab, and that just gives us a nice kind of smooth gradient, and we'll get this bit done in the next uh, layer. Right at the back now, where we've got the oak plank, we're going to have a jungle uh, slab on top of that one, then a jungle plank block, then with our jungle stair, we're going to have an upside down just here like that. Right on the back, we're going to have an, a normal stair going this way, leave a gap, have a stair going that way, and in that gap, put in a mangrove fence gate. It just adds a little bit of color, a little bit of something else, I guess. Uh, with this one. Then on the other side, jungle slab, jungle plank block, 
and then upside down. There we go, upside down jungle stair there like that. Grab yourself a grindstone and you can put a grindstone in here. That's going to be your wheel for uh, the actual ship so it can control the rudder. But there we go guys, that's it for layer number five. And then for the final bits of the hole, which is layers number six and seven. What we're going to do first, guys, is with our jungle slab, where we've got this stair right here, we're going to put a slab on top. Right on the front, we're going to have a jungle stair right here, just normal, just going upwards. Then what we're going to do is, on the front of that, have an upside down jungle stair. Then we're going to have a jungle slab on top of that one. And coming backwards now, we're going to have an upside down jungle stair right there like that. That'll give you a nice kind of shape to the whole thing like that. On the back now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a normal stair right here. Normal stair right here. On the lower slab between those two, we're going to have a jungle slab. And then over the top, three jungle slabs like that. It's a really weird back, but I wanted to kind of like play around with a different design and go with something a bit wacky and crazy. Um, but guys, that is it for layers number six and seven. We're done with the hole now, so we'll build up the masts, get in the sails. And now for the masts, what we're going to do, guys, is grab yourself your stripped spruce wood. And on the front one, we're going to add five stripped uh, spruce wood to the top of this one. So one, two, three, four. I, think I double click then. One, two, three, four. Yep. Five, like that. Add a composter on top and then bring this one forwards. Then you're going to have four on top of this. So one, two, three, and four. Then grab yourself a mud brick wall, uh, which thank you for somebody in my Discord to say, like, actually, mud brick wall looks better than granite. You're totally right. Um, and have, then have two spruce fence on the top of that one, like that. Have a spruce trapdoor on the back of this thing. And what you can do is you can actually whack a fence, uh, not a fence, a ladder going up to this one. If you're not having it going to the top, why not? I guess if you really wanted to, if you want to have a little, little thing to go into, you could do this have that to sink into but uh, that's up to you um, anyway on the back what you're gonna do is you're gonna have five again so one two three four five composter on top composter coming forwards then you're gonna have six blocks on top one two three four five and six then a mud brick wall two spruce fence on top of that again block that up or hide that should I say hide the composter top and then have your ladder going up this if you want it's totally up to you guys what you want to do. I don't think my one went all the way to the top, but you know, it's whatever you guys want. Right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to grab yourself a uh, spruce stair. And the first thing we're going to be is just one up to here. And we're going to go one, and you're going to go two, <laughs> and you can have one on the back as well. So you get a set of three like that, okay? Then coming forwards and to the side, you're going to have one there. Then one more, so you just get a set of two. And the same on the back, just going the other way. So these are all angled slightly, so there we go. One there, one there like that. So you get three there, two, and then two. And that three's centered on that mast. For the next one, you're going to be three blocks up. One, two, and then three. Stair goes on there, stair comes forwards, stair goes back. Same thing again, all right? Then we're going to come forwards and to the side. And we're just going to have two of these, two of your stairs there. Uh, so exactly the same as what we did for the front. And then we're going to do the same here as well. So have your stairs in there like that. So you get your three, two, and then you got your two up there as well. Okay. It's as simple as that for that bit. Then what we're going to do with a spruce slab now is right on the bottom of this one. We're going to be three blocks up. One, two, three. Then on the lower piece, we're going to have a slab here. Add two slabs coming forwards. Then you're gonna go up and to the side as well, okay? And we're gonna have three slabs there like that. For the next one, we are gonna be just two blocks up. And this time it's going to be on the upper slab and you're gonna have one here. Two come forwards and you're gonna go out and up. And you go one, two, three. But the third one is actually gonna be a spruce stair spruce stair pointing that way and it's so that the rope can look like it's connecting in okay for the rope itself you're going to use an oak fence and the first thing we're going to do is where you've got this slab here and we're going to go one two three and four 
then we're going to move in to three okay so just like that really really simple on the back now we're going to go up with a five one two three four and five then in then one two three so you can actually get four on that one so you get five then a four like that now because this doesn't have a bow sprit instead it's got the kind of very ornate curly thingy we don't even need to worry about a bow uh, well we don't need to worry about a bow sprit to connect it all up or anything like that you can if you want to connect these two masts just get yourself a line like this to three and go under two three like that if you wanted to connect them together you can uh, but you don't have to it's something that I didn't do on mine because mine was well I think it looks quite small so I decided not to for that right guys let's get on to the sails all right so for the sails what we're gonna do is the tied up version first so I use white wool for this you can use smooth quartz and then you can use the stairs and the um, slabs and make the sails look super duper smooth but if you guys are going with kind of like nice, simple and textured feel, then white wool will do, okay? So you can put in slabs, uh, not slabs, blocks behind each of these like that. And then bunch up the middle part of it, okay? If you bunch up the middle part, it's kind of like you've got some extra weight in there and that's it for tied up, all right? That's it. If you, you just do the same thing on the other side, you're done. Um, but of course, we're not going to do that. We're going to make it look like there's wind in these sails. So what we're going to do is keep that same thing where we've got one of each. Then we're going to follow the line down, okay, like this. And then we're going to go out, join that up. And we're just going to do these slight, really straight lines first, actually. Try and make it really simple, okay. Uh, and the only thing we're going to do here, here we are going to have one there. And we're not going to have loads going across that way. In fact, we're going to take that corner off like that. Oh, that doesn't look very good. It looks very straight and boring and everything like that. So we're going to start shaping it so we can push this out. This one, we're going to push back. And like down here, we can end up having a bit more coming out as well. Maybe even push that one back into there. So you can end up doing stuff like this. So if here, push that one out there. That one out there. There we go. Now we've got something going on. Yeah, there we go. Something like that will do. That doesn't look too bad at all. Um, don't know what I did on my other one. Apparently a very similar thing. It's not quite the same, but it's very similar. <laughs> Creepy. Um, then it's not really, is it? Because it's me that's doing it. Right, so anyway, the next one. Similar thing thing here. Just place a block on the uh, things there. We're going to follow this line. So we're going to go out already. Go down. Build that up. Make it really boring first. Like, we're still going to have that out to there. Now, we can't really push back there. This one, if we push back, it will get in the way. So that is definitely a problem, but that's fine. We're going to push these out like this. And we're also going to have a bit sticking out Oops, here as well. I can't get the blocks anywhere today. There we go, something like that. That one's quite small, to be fair. So actually, I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably just have that there instead. Keep it super, super simple. Maybe even do that instead. There we go, that looks pretty good. So you just kind of shape it the best you can. That one's the one I got there. Is that similar? Not the same? <laughs> Nearly the same? No, it's not quite the same. It's a little bit different. So it looks like I pushed this bit forwards. Um, but there you go, guys. That's literally it for the sails. And in fact, for the entire tutorial of this one, I haven't done an interior. Uh, if you guys do an interior, make sure to post it on my Discord channel. I'd love to see it. Um, yeah, it'd be really cool to actually see what you guys have done with it. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.